Okay, so I started to make the kimchi, what's going to go into the kimchi paste. I'm planning on making kimchi. I've already put in a bunch of garlic. I decided later on to record this. Um, I'm reducing my green, my green, um, there you go. See it right there? I'll just put it in there. Green onions into just the ends of it. I actually soaked them overnight in baking soda to remove the toxins since they were not organic. Okay, so let me just finish this. I bought this machine just so I could do the kimchi. So let's see how this goes. So for those of you who know how to operate a food processor, I'm sure you, you've realized that I don't. <laughs> okay, here's all the ends that uh, came with the green. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, so obviously I don't know how to use this thing. It's the first time I've used it. I probably should have gone on YouTube and figured out how to properly use it. But I don't have the patience because I have so many things to do. And um, I kind of just want to relax for the rest of the day. It's past 6 o'clock. And I want, the reason why I want to relax is because um, I have TMJ. And I've been doing stretching and everything. And instead of getting better, I'm very disappointed. So it's not a great day for me. <laughs> um, so it didn't chop it, right? But I guess it took, took down the good parts, I guess. I don't know. I mean, uh, I put th this in the center over here. I don't know why. Here, see, see, I, I, put, I want this here in the center, right? And I don't know if this thing moves, what the deal is. But I'm just going to do it one more time. It's going to be messy. I'm going to be even more disappointed. Let me just try what the residue I just took and see how on earth it works, quite frankly. Hi. <laughs> frankly, I don't see much of a difference. So, am I doing the right things? You're welcome to criticize me. Um, actually, I do want feedback. It actually helps the channel that I'm trying to build. <laughs> Frankly, this is all crazy. Everything's going crazy here. All right, so it's got plenty of onion, green onion in it. At least the juice of it, right? <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so now I'm going to actually put in the real stuff, which is radish. I couldn't find Korean radish. So, I, I could have found the round Korean radish, but I didn't want to go the extra mile. That's a little bit far. So, let's see how this goes. So now, these are going to have to be slices. It's supposed to be slices here. I really would like to have it shredded, but I don't know what in the blade to pick shredding so let's see how this goes <laughs> no idea so I actually soaked these radishes like I said again in baking soda let's see what happens here Ooh. okay now we're talking okay now we're talking I guess this is going to go fast from now on, huh? Just pop them in there. I mean, quite frankly, the um, green onions were kind of wet. And uh, it was more challenging, and so was the garlic, for that matter. So here we go. I'll put it on high. I think I'm starting to see the results that I worked hard for in preparing 
Well, so radish is the main ingredient here. I already put plenty of garlic. I don't really think it's gonna, I mean, it, it's just one cabbage head, but it's a Chinese one that's really big. So here we go. Okay. That's working quite well. Gonna be a whole lot of paste here, huh? Wow, it looks like the bowl is full already. So is this bowl full? I can't tell. I mean, it looks like it's full, right? Huh. Quite interesting, huh? Well, these are three bags of radishes. So it's probably more. But radish is the big ingredient in the paste. So it also cuts here while it's cutting here. That's why these pieces are smaller. So part of it's gonna be. Okay. I think three bags is more than enough for one head of cabbage, quite frankly. I mean, the Chinese cabbage is a lot bigger a lot bigger than uh okay here we go i don't i hope i don't mess i hope i don't mess this kimchi up it'll be my first experiment oh man i forgot to put there's still things missing my red peppers my hot spicy peppers which is really that's really the main ingredient um Oh boy. So I'm going to have to fit that in into the little, because this is pretty packed. It's pretty packed capacity. So. Ask me if red peppers make sense. Yes, it does. Instead of doing dried peppers, I, I, I really wanted to put everything as close to natural and fresh as possible. So I'm cutting up this red pepper and they're not that spicy. So I think it's okay to put the whole thing. I'm just not gonna put in the seeds because that's what really makes it, gives it a major kick. I don't want to put the dry one. No, I, I'm doing it my way, okay? I, I've seen it done on YouTube, and I'm doing it my way. So, I mean, I do enjoy cooking, so I do have a sense of cooking. Uh, so, if you could see, I'm just cutting the seeds out. And I have three peppers, and I'm not afraid to use them. Because kimchi is supposed to be spicy anyway. And I don't think that this is that spicy to begin with. These peppers, I've had them before. And um, if it didn't burn me, it was just a little piece. But... All right, so I got the three peppers here. And believe it or not, I'm going to add something to this. I'm going to add a little bit of ginger. I don't think ginger is going to mess up. Maybe I should do ginger on the side, right? <laughs> Let the ginger get uh, fermented separately. Just in case I don't like it. It could be it's, it won't mess up the whole thing. That makes sense, doesn't it? Right, so this has so far has green onions. Not not very much of it, quite frankly, from it just didn't work out <coughs> very well. So <coughs> Oh boy, I could feel the red peppers. <coughs> Do I want it that hot? Oh my goodness. <coughs> I think one should be good enough because I'm, I'm coughing just from cutting it. Okay. Let me go. Okay, so how about if I... 
Lord, that's really spicy. Wow. kimchi all right trust me <laughs> it's gonna be spicy all right so i'm taking off the lid i mean the spice is in the air you hear me coughing it's spicy so it's got plenty of garlic plenty of this plenty of that i'm probably making too much paste so maybe i'll take some to the lady excuse me i'll keep some paste maybe in the fridge Give some away. See the lady from the Korean store. She's Filipino. She wants to make her own kimchi. At least she'll have some homemade paste if she could appreciate it, right? Because uh, who's to say I'm doing it right? But I mean, I am putting in the ingredients they said. I'm just I just substituted the Korean radish for the American radish because it's hard to come by, and I didn't feel like driving to the store to get the round one, which is not really the one. That suggested actually it still has to be like the long one. They're two different Korean radishes. I say a radish is a radish is a radish. Okay, so now I'm gonna make paste with this. Alright, so this is not going in there. Do you think I should put more? The kimchi should be more red than it should be purple, which is a radish. What do you think? Wish I could get your vote on it. So anybody who wants to vote, feel free to vote. I think I'm going to put more. Because kimchi is supposed to be more red. But then again, I'm probably going to use this much. And the bottom part I probably won't use. I mean, the bottom is where the onions are. I think I'm going to put another half. Because you're really supposed to see the red. And if the color red is not showing... First time I use a food processor, so please don't make fun of me. If you do, I won't blame you. <laughs> oh, what happened? You burned out? Did I burn the machine out already? Oh, it's not clicked in. That's why. Okay. Things seem to get stuck a lot in in this. I don't know how to gauge what's a good good processor or what's not because it's my first one, right? I think I'm gonna turn this around and kind of do the shredding part. Instead of slicing. I don't think slicing is working well here. Okay. Okay. So here we go. All right. <clears throat> I wonder if I should do at least a little. I don't think they usually put ginger but who said ginger shouldn't go i'm gonna do it I, I i know i said before i won't do it i'm just gonna do a little piece little piece okay a little piece So now what I have to do is turn the, 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 the recorder off. I have to make now the paste. And then I'm going to mix this with the paste. So this is what I'm going to do. Mochito sweet rice flour. I'm going to obviously make more because uh, I don't know how it's going to become a paste if I make a little bit. I mean, I think I'm making too much of a paste if you ask me. But, uh, see, I labeled it here. That's what you see there. Uh, let's see what, what I get. 